Hello, we're good? Yeah, live. Alright. Welcome to the channel, everybody. Today I have this 2020 Pirelli build with an X15 engine. And the reason why this truck is here is because it's getting a manual swap, um, manual transmission. So in this case, from the factory, this one comes with uh, automatic transmission, endurance, Eaton uh, transmission. And uh, today we are going to install a 13 speed manual transmission. Um, I, I believe then that uh, could be a very common modification nowadays in this modern truck with these modern trucks because these trucks all are equipped with aromatic transmissions the majority and if you want a manual transmission any any truck that is be um, after 2020 you have to order it uh, 2024 right now if you really want a manual transmission you really have to go to a dealer and place an order and do all sorts of uh, um, petitions for a manual transmission and it will take a while until it comes um, now if you want a manual transmission you have to do this this is what I'm going to show you what you have to do if you want to install a manual transmission on your truck and it doesn't matter if you have a Kangor, Peterbilt, Freightliner, Volvo a Mac or whatever other truck, the process is the same. The components are going to vary because of depending on the engine, depending on the year, components vary. And uh, the, the way to work on them is different too because they all come with different modifications to do. In this case, we're gonna base the work only on the speed build, but it's going to be very basic for the other ones. So for that, uh, we're gonna start with the video. So um, first of all, uh, it's very important and if you're really uh, thinking, you are really thinking to swap the transmission for a manual transmission, you have to be sure that you are going to spend a lot of money. It's not going to be a cheap modification. So don't expect to do this modification with $5,000, probably you will need more. And depending on the parts too, if you get brand new parts, it's going to be expensive, but if you get everything used, probably it's going to be a little cheaper, but still it's going to be a very expensive modification to do. He's doing it the other way. It's supposed to be the inside out, not the outside in. Come on. Um, um, what I was saying, yeah, it's not going to be something cheap. So if you don't have the budget or you, or probably you're thinking then it's going to be cheaper, is not this is a very expensive modification anyway um let's go and talk about it so the first thing we need in this case uh it's gonna be the clutch pedal um in this case this pedal build they have this orifice over here that's where the clutch goes um for these old ones for the newest one probably it's not going to be possible so you have to do a full modification to install the pedal but in this case uh, you could buy, you can buy everything for an older pedal build 579. So let's say if you have a 2014 579 with a model transmission, you can get all the parts for a 2014 579 and get them uh, for this truck. Um, but anyway, uh, we have to work on the pedal. So in this case, we have to just remove some brackets here and there to install the new bracket for the pedal. And that's pretty much it. The pump and, uh, and the lines then go to the to the housing. Now, after that, of course, we have to remove the transmission, dry lines, and everything else in hopes to transmission, so that all that is removed. But the next modification is going to be the flywheel, the flywheel housing. In this case, the flywheel housing is not the same. Uh, the flywheel housing has been removed from the, from the engine. Um, the engine is sitting on those jacks right now because we are waiting for the right part. We don't have the right part yet. We're still looking for the part. So the flywheel housing is different. This is the OEM flywheel housing. The one that comes with the X15 engine for the automatic transmission. So if you want the manual transmission, it's going to be different. So the best way to get these parts is going to be referring for any truck that has a manual transmission get the parts from a, a manual transmission truck and install it on, on, on the truck that you are working on. And it has to be from the similar 
a year and the similar engine engine type. So in this case, we have a X15, a 2020. So we can get the big number of a 2020 KW or Peterbilt with a model transmission. And we, we can buy the housing. So that's what we are working on right now. We're still waiting for these parts. It takes a lot of time to do all this. So that's the reason why I say it's not going to be cheap because most of these parts are going to be ordered or something. The next step will be to get a 13 speed transmission. Um, uh, you can buy a 13 speed transmission anywhere. You can go to uh, uh, PTO sales or you can go to a dealer or anything they, where, where they sell uh, transmissions. And you can, you, you can buy the whole transmission. Uh, it's gonna cost you around uh, $4,000 to $7,000 depending you have, you have, if you have a core or you are buying a brand new one with no core, that, that, price, that price will vary. And uh, yeah, okay, yes, uh, so $4,000. So, so uh, it, it will vary depending on the price and also the location varies with the prices. Uh, the next thing will be then the dry line has to be worked on. The dry shaft is not going to be the same since you are adding more room. Uh, the transmission, the turtling speed, uh, the, the speed transmission is larger in size. So the dry line has to be resized. So, um, in this case, the dry line is still there. Um, we haven't get it uh, fixed yet. Um, it's still in the original form, OEM form. But once we get the transmission on place, uh, we are going to remeasure the difference, uh, the, the dry line, the dry shaft, uh, and then remeasure it, and then see what is the actual measure we need. Probably we can uh, most. It's more likely than we're gonna need a shorter dry shaft. So it's a very common modification when you are adding a larger transmission to the truck. Um, another very important um, modification is going to be the differentials. In this case, we have other um, ratio. On these differentials so if you are using the differentials they are from factory like let's say you have a, a 12 speed transmission and you want to use those differentials it's not going to work the same so the automatic transmission they have different ratios everything is different so you be sure to get the right ratios the only way to get the right ratios for your differentials i mean for your truck it's going to be getting the 13 speed transmission for a specific truck, let's say a, a, a truck that comes with a 13 speed transmission, and then get the same differential from the same truck. So that way you have the full uh, uh, ratio machine, because if you get a different ratio, you're gonna get more power and you're gonna get less fuel economy, or you're gonna get weak power and very weak uh, uh, fuel economy, and so many problems you can get with differentials. So it's very important that you replace those differentials. If you are thinking on swapping your transmission for a 13, 18, 15 speed transmission, it's mandatory. You have to get that in order to get the right, uh, the right results. Otherwise, you're gonna get a truck that doesn't match the speed or goes faster and you don't have any power going uphill or simply doesn't reach a specific speed like some trucks they're gonna be reaching 65 miles per hour and then they won't go faster than that because the differentials are too slow so those are the consequences of not getting the right differential so that is something very important so if you ever think then uh, swapping the transmission of your truck for a manual uh, for an automatic transmission to a manual is pretty easy it's not it, it requires more than just replacing parts requires modifications, requires that. In this case, because we have an automatic transmission inside, in the interior of the truck, we have to cut the, the, the floor of the cabin because we have to get the stick of the transmission on place. So we have to do it. In this case, this truck doesn't come with a specific, uh, they usually manual transmission trucks, they come with a specific opening for that, um, for the lever, the transmission lever, but in this case, because this one is aromatic, it, they, it doesn't need a lever. So uh, that, that's something that we have to do on this one. Um, and then after this comes the electronic part, modifications to the computer. So uh, you also have to do any type of modifications to eliminate all the transmission controls and get uh, the truck to run perfectly with the manual transmission. So you have to do m mechanical modifications and you also have to do electronic modifications, especially for these newer trucks that are 
the, from 2008 and up, those trucks, they all have electronic components that need to be modified if they come with, electro with electronic control transmissions, automatic transmissions. But, uh, um, but in this case, uh, that's, this is still in the process and it's not finished yet, but this is all you have to do to get the truck back on motion if you are thinking on getting a 13 speed transmission on your truck or a 10 speed or 15 it doesn't matter what type of manual transmission you're getting the point is then if you really want to get a manual transmission truck on a uh, manual transmission uh, on your truck you need to do more than just installing the transmission you need to do more modifications to the differentials drive shaft uh, electronics and um, some parts of the body just to make the truck run fine. If you don't do it, you're going to have problems uh, making the truck running fine, probably it's not going to run well, or it's not going to run at all, or, or you're going to have other consequences. But uh, it is just a little demonstration, little details on what it's like to do a modification like that. Uh, so the easiest way, what I recommend you, well, if for any reason you have a 2000, uh, let's say this is a 2020, but for any reason you have a 2014 579, then has a 13 speed transmission and, and differentials and everything like that just get all that from that truck to your truck and that will work fine with no problems but if you don't have any of that you have will have to get parts individually for these specific places and that will be very expensive but it will it will vary but anyway this is all i'm going to show you just a little talk about it uh, I know it's a very common topic nowadays to get the transmissions, uh, the manual transmissions in the automatic truck. So getting the transmission, automatic transmission out and getting the manual transmission in is very common since all, since all these trucks are, are um, equipped with automatic transmissions nowadays. But anyway, if you have any questions about it, just comment below. Any type of recommendations or anything to add to this video, you can use the comment section as well. You can look for me as Francisco on YouTube. There you can see other things that I'm doing besides trucking. And thank you for watching.